gives Optimus Prime. The filthy red and blue bot? Yeah. Gives off a corroded metallic stench. Okay, corroded, that is too far. <laughs> okay. That animation is so cool. The world of Autobots comes to life in the new Paramount movie, Transformers 1. It's an animated feature film with an all-star cast. Listen to this. Scarlett Johansson, Chris Hemsworth, and Brian Tyree Henry all lending their voices to this film. But it's a departure from the previous live-action Transformer films, and it's directed by the Bay Area Zone, Josh Cooley. Now, Josh stopped by our KPIX studios to chat with me about the film and how he got his start in directing and animation. You were born in Berkeley, right across the bay here, right over there. from where we're standing here yeah. on our rooftop at KPIX, and you, but you grew up in Livermore. So tell me mm -hmm. a little bit about your roots and how you got started. Uh, well, I've always wanted to work in animation f since as long as I could remember, and my parents being artists were like, well, of course, why wouldn't you? <laughs> and so um, I, I went to art school here in San Francisco, and then my first uh, job right out of school was working for Pixar right over there. Uh, for 18 years. And what are some of the movies you worked on at Pixar? I uh, started working on the first Cars, Incredibles, Ratatouille, Up, uh, Inside Out, and Toy Story 4, and then helping out on WALL-E and Brave, like, uh, uh, everything. I love how you so casually just say that. <laughs> These are huge movies, that's incredible. Well, I was just answering quickly, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they're great, they were, I mean, I learned so much on every single one of those films, so uh, it's, it's been, I've, I've been very fortunate. And do you feel like that that experience, those lessons, and what you learned kind of brought you to this point here Absolutely. with Transformers? Absolutely. You know, um, one of the things at Pixar was always like, how do we tell a story for everybody? Mm. And so, it's, which is very hard to do, as you can assume. But uh, we wanted to do the same thing on Transformers. Like, how can we tell a story that is for the fans, but also for people who have no idea what Transformers is, or have ever been not interested in it. How can you come into the story? How can you come into the world in a way that um, is engaging right off the bat? And so that was the goal from day one. Well, I think what's so appealing too about the Transformers franchise is you have these massive, you know, cars that turn into these amazing creatures and robots, and they they really just want to help. At least the good guys <laughs> do anyway. And I think that really creates a, a nice storyline into what people see when they're watching. Yeah, there's some. Um, I'm really proud of what we've done with this film. I think it. It feels really, um, it's emotional. Mm. I've had a lot of people tell me that they've cried at the end of it, which really is, I mean, as a storyteller, that's all you really want is to really have the, uh, the audience engage. And um, it's a very human story. And, and I think people that already love these characters are gonna love them even more. <laughs> Okay, so if you're wondering, the movie focuses on the origin story, and there's already talk of a prequel. Transformers 1 is out in theaters today, and it's getting some pretty good reviews, you guys. 89% on Rotten Tomatoes. So, you know, you see animated films, and you think, oh, maybe it's just for the kids. Even right. if you, you know, if you grew up loving Transformers, obviously it's for you, but there's a story here. It's the origin story, and there's relationships mm -hmm. and friendships, and it's really, really, it looks really good. I can't wait to see it. I'm so glad there's actually a story there. So many times it's just shoot them up and yeah. fight, and I love the backstory movies and our local guy right here is right. now you know yeah. directing like amazing to see those success stories coming right here in the bay area can it knock beetlejuice this weekend Ooh. i have a feeling it might Ooh. yeah it might sorry beetlejuice